What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Legendary Beats. I'm back again. Um, this is gonna be this is one of my first videos of this series. Um, primarily, as if you don't know already, it's gonna be about promotion. And I picked this topic because I see a lot of artists and producers who just promote the wrong way. I'm not gonna take too much of your time. I'm just gonna share my thoughts on it, and I hope that I can help you change your way of doing promotions if you're the, if you're at fault for this. Um, so pretty much I want to start off with a story, right? So back in the early 2000s, uh, I was on Reverb Nation before I had my own website. I used to just follow every, I, I think it's like a follow process you have or add as a friend or something like that. Everybody on Reverb Nation, all the artists, you can check out my um, Reverb Nation page. I'm telling you, I was, had like thousands of thousands of ads of friends, whatever you want to call them on Reverb, I don't remember. Haven't been on the site for a while. And the tactics that I used was pretty much I spammed all, all of them. I spammed the emails or the message by inbox, sent the message to say, hey, do you need beats? Uh, yeah, come and get some beats. If you need some, go to my site, blah, blah, blah. And um, the response that I got from that was I probably got like one or two, barely, I would say, I don't believe I got any sales from that. Um, I got a little traffic from it to the site but it wasn't enough based on how much work I put in, if you wanna call it work. And um, uh, pretty much I started sending out the emails to everybody on the list. Thousands thousands thousand say, hey, check out these beats, buy these beats two, two for three dollars, two, uh, buy five for ten dollars, whatever the deal was, the crazy deal that I had out. And evidently the results were bad. Like I didn't get any sales from it. I got minimal traffic it wasn't even worth um saying that it was a job well done because the traffic i didn't even get enough traffic to say that that job was worth it um and then after a while as, the, as time progressed i learned that that's just not gonna work doing it that way just does not work and to be honest with you it kind of turned off a lot of people from actually working with me in the future they probably unfollowed me or they unfriend me however that works on um, Reverb Nation, I don't even remember because there's so many people and I didn't even think to go back to check and see if that person even followed through with the link or the email or the inbox, whatever. Uh, so I changed my tactics and uh, I started thinking um, promotion is pretty much how we view or how we are, what do you call, subject to promotion in our own lives, right? If you think about it, um, even when you see commercial on TV, mind you, when you pay for cable or you pay for whatever um, service that you use to view te to view television and whatnot, you kind of subscribe to um, other publications such as commercials and infomercials and all these th all these things. You are pretty much giving the 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 um, cable company's permission to show you these types of clips or these type of shows based on your service provider to show you these type of content. I mean, for another, another example, when you get uh, promotions from a local store or per se Costco or any other store, major store that you may shop at, the only reason why they're able to send you promotions is because you entered your name in the database when you're checking out at the store and they ask you for Oh, hey, would you like to would you like uh, to join our mailing list or whatever? We'll send you coupons or whatever. And from that one time that you did it because they asked you 20 times before, you just want to get them off your back. Now they have your permission to send you that information. So pretty much what I'm getting at is that promotion should be dealt with just like in real life applications. Promotion should be dealt, should be presented through the permission of the receiver. The receiver does not give you permission to promote to them, then therefore you are spamming. No matter if you wrote the email in a, in a nice way, as soon as you say, hey, yeah, go and buy this, you are spamming. Anytime you anytime you uh, you promote something or you send data that which is like trying to force someone or trying to present something in a way so that someone will buy something, you are spamming. No matter how you want to look at it, that's just what it is. 
I've been subject to it for a while and I changed my ways in the past couple of years. And I've seen the results from changing, from learning to network, to learn to grow relationships with that target demographic. And I'll try to make some more videos on the details or write some articles on the details on how to go more in depth. But I just wanted to open that to you that when you, in the music world is not different to anything else. Honestly, this is a business and you yourself are the product and the manager and the marketer. <laughs> you share everything, you're every position. So we have to consider it as a business. You know, you have to consider that what you're doing is just as much as what you do in a real life situation. When you want to, uh, when you want to portray a message to someone else, or you want to uh, create content or uh, create a friendship with someone else, pretty much you learn from the person, or you learn from viewing the person that you have certain type of traits that are the same, or you have a certain type of um, um, niche that you you all share, or topic that you all have an understanding of. So that's a, that's something that makes you click. So now when you start talking to the person, you could use these things to relate. That makes it easier to introduce your ideas and concepts onto that person. Otherwise, if you just go in the middle of the street and you say, hey, look, I got a, I got 20, 20 beats for you to buy on this beat CD. And you just go to random people. I mean, pretty much, honestly, you're wasting a lot of time because it's not a target demographic. You're just going into the general public, just setting stuff out to everybody. Everybody doesn't need your beats. Even if they did, per se, if they did need your beats, do they need your type of beats? Do they need that type of tempo beats? Do they need that type of style of beats, pretty much? No. Honestly, unless you know and you did the research, which you could only do by networking and building a relationship with people or your future clients or whatever you want to call them. If you don't do that research, then your work is kind of in vain. Is Actually, it is in vain because you're, doing, you're using up a lot of your resources and doing it the wrong way. And it's not going to help you. And even if you do get any results from it, it'll be very minimal based on what you could get. So all I wanna um, portray to you today is if you do promotions, if you wanna promote your music out, there's nothing wrong with wanting to promote your music and just sharing your music with everybody. But be sure that you do it in the correct way. Because when you create a post on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, and you tag everybody in it, you know, everybody and their moms is in, tagged in the post, you go and then when someone goes to a page and they think that they're special because you tagged them in a post, it's like 40 other, 40 to 100 other people tagged in the post as well. Honestly, what I do now is that I honestly either unfollow that person, I unfriend them, or I just stop receiving notifications because honestly, it's annoying because since I'm a producer, I have a bunch of um, artists as friends. And if, honestly, you're not the only one dude who's doing it, it's like 10 other people every day tagging me in the post. So after a while, if I know that if, if I know that it's happening to me, I'm pretty sure it's happening to either you or someone else, and they're gonna start doing the same thing, and then now you turn off everybody. No one's gonna wanna come to you and check out your music or your product, uh, beats or whatever you're selling or you're um, pushing out because of how you started. So you gotta start off on a good slate. Even if you don't have the best type of music, it doesn't matter. Every product that comes out in business is not always the best but it's how you could get it to relate to the client or to the demographic. It's how you could get or you know, get on that same level ground with the client. I had a couple of my clients tell me that they do business with me because of the fact that I'm kind of like a down to earth type of individual. Because I sit here, they send me emails and stuff and I talk to them like they're people and not like they're customers. Because honestly, they're people first before they're customers. If you could get to them on a, on a personal level, then you could definitely get them to buy something from you. And I hope my buyers are only listening, but it's true. That's how life works. That's how everything works. If you, the only reason why you go to the local store is because you have a trust with that local store. Either your moms go there, your pops go there, your aunt goes there, or you yourself go from there. So you know it, it has what you need and you can trust them that once you give them the money, you are getting the product that you, that you want. They're providing the service and they provide it in a way that you could trust. Why are you different? You're a producer, you're an artist, doesn't matter. You are your product that you're selling. And, or I should just say that your music or your beats is a part of you. So technically, yes, you are the product. You are portraying yourself. You're portraying your service. The way that you act, the way that you put, how you, present, how you go towards customer service does make a difference 
on how the client or the receiver takes in all the information. So that's all I want to portray to you guys. You know, if you, for promotion, if you do it the right way, you gain a lot of loyal fans. And I just, uh, I hope that you would continue checking out my videos. I'll be putting out more videos weekly, uh, once a week, um, with some quality information such as this. And thank you for taking the time to check out my videos, which is this video since the first one. I would really appreciate it if you like, comment, share, subscribe um, this post or this video and this page. Um, it'll be a great encouragement for me to continue making more videos. And also, if you have any topics that you would like for me to talk about, I'll be sure to leave them in the comments below or uh, you could email them to me at sales at legendarybeatsonline.com. That's beats with a Z, sales at legendarybeatsonline.com. And in the subject, it just, just put um, YouTube topics. And then you just put in the in the message box on what what type of um, topics you want, uh, you would like for me to talk about. Other than that, other than that um, my motto is for year 2014 is rise above normal. It's your time of the year. It's your time in life to be legendary. Let's jump on that horse. Let's get it. All right, peace. I'm out.